Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hunter Loves Voice Play podcast. Um, so I'm gonna start off by saying that this song isn't necessarily a Halloween song per se, but it is just about as Halloween as you can get for when it comes to villains. Um, and uh, this episode is talking about voice plays Friends on the Other Side featuring Junon. Yeah, he came back for a hot minute. Or wait, did he leave at that moment? I think so. Yeah, because like it, it was, it, it's been so long ago that I don't even remember when he left and when he came back. But anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna get right into this one. So I, to start off with Princess and the Frog, I'm glad that I watched the movie because it this would have not given me any context as to what was going on with this song in particular. Um. But I managed to watch the movie and I'm like, okay, this is actually really, really good. So let me talk about kind of like the original for a second here. Um, so I immediately just love the bass line in that song. If you haven't, if, if you haven't listened to it yet, um, you know, go ahead, check out the original first because it's just the bass line is just, it's so fun. Um, uh, like you know, I mean, I'm I'm crazy for bass lines now. Gee, wonder what that's all about. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, it has a terrific bass line, and um, you know, like the movie's set in New Orleans, so it has just that like swingy, swangy kind of um of, of feel to it, but it also just has no shortage of evil in it as well. And Dr. Facilier, who is a character that is like, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, make you a promise, but I'm actually a voodoo, um, uh, 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 like a voodoo king, I guess, prince, whatever. Um, you know, he's basically saying like, yeah, if you do this, this, um, this deal, you're gonna get everything you want at no price, you know, like with no consequence. Well, it bites him in the butt for him in the end, of course, unfortunately. Uh, blood debts, I guess is what it was. It was a blood debt. But, um, yeah, I, I really liked Dr. Facilier's character. Like, he was just very, like, slimy, very, you know, like, he had charisma, he has charm, and he, like, wants to make you believe that it's like, you're gonna get all these things in your life, but it's gonna go wrong. So, with the voice plays, uh, was not expecting them to do this, which, you know, I never really do expect a lot of, like, a lot of out of voice play, because it's, like, it's always surprising whenever they do stuff, right? Um, but with this one, the first two seconds in, it is just so funny to me, because we have Ellie as, um, oh my god, I, I'm, I'm blanking on the characters already, but it's, um, it's the prince's, um, like, right-hand man, and, um, like, uh, just kind of his servant, so to speak. And it starts off with, Sire, this man is obviously a shot. I suggest we move on to a... And then Jay just cuts right in with the, Don't you disrespect me, little man! And I'm like, yes. I love this already. Just perfectly executed. Um, but Ellie's little, ah! When Jay comes in, just kills me. I love Ellie's voice acting. I mean, I'm so glad that, you know, that that's another thing that Ellie does on the side. Um, because it just works so well. Like, he just knows how to play, um, just with his character voice. And he knows how to get into that character. That's just, it's so amazing. And Caesar got to play the prince. Because he is a prince. Ha. Um... And then we had Jeff and Lane, who were like like the voodoo consultants, I guess. Like they were just kind of like um, Facilier's bodyguards, if you will. And I only say that because Jeff didn't have any. Oh my god, you're probably hearing my cat howling right now. I'm sorry. Hang on a sec. Bam bam. Enough. Uh, <laughs> um. So yeah, Jeff and Lane are pretty much the bodyguards. They're the voodoo bodyguards. And, um, you know, we start off with, Don't you disrespect me, little man! 
don't you derogate or dura. And, like, Jay is in, like, the lowest of his baritone. Like, he's reaching into bass area. And I love that. But also, he's got just the perks of being that villain and just embracing the character. And I absolutely love it. Like, they made a perfect choice for Dr. Facilier for having Jay. And it's like any other person or any other production that I have seen where somebody else has done Dr. Facilier, I'm like, come on. I'm like, Jay is like a close second to me because he just, he brings it his all. And uh, so then we get into, so arrangement wise, this was interesting. Um, just because it was like, uh, in the movie, you just have kind of that like choiristic type of feel where it's like, he's got friends on the other side. And it's like, just kind of like the choir, right? Um, but with Lane, he decided to take some of the vocals and give it more distortion and more electronic feel. And I was like, ooh that's interesting and i also remember the day when lane put out a question he was looking for um traditional african masks and i was like what in the hell why is he looking for these what does he need them for and then i'm like oh that's why because <laughs> then later you, you there's a perfect shot of them up on the wall and it's like uh it makes sense and the lighting is perfect in this one too because it just it matches up with everything um uh just you know with the track everything so then we start going in and i i get so lost with this arrangement because there's the elements are just picking away at my brain and i can't focus on you know just one right i mean normally i focus on baseline because it's so distinct to me now but the harmonies in the back from Caesar and Ellie and Jay all together is just, oh, they're just so, they're, they're pretty and they work so well. So, um, and like, we basically kind of have, um, cause it's like, sit down at my table, do, do, sit down. And then it's like, uh, if you relax, it will enable me to do, insert Jeff saying anything I please. And it's so funny because it's like, he like drags his thumb down his cheek. And it was like, it, that was Jeff's idea of trying to be menacing. Didn't really work out for him. But anyway, it's fine. <laughs> um, and of course, Ellie just has kind of his like rock feel on his voice. Um. And like he's putting a little bit more pressure into it and there are riffs like crazy in this especially from um from ellie and uh oh the washing machine just started and uh yeah there are just so many elements in this one and it's just the character acting just gets me because it's like it just that's like the good thing about voice play is when they can transport you from every day into that scene of the movie and i just absolutely love it whenever they do disney stuff i'm always happy whether it be halloween i mean halloween is pretty particular but that's neither here or there and i'll be getting distracted and like jay has a great way of interpreting the bargaining feel of facilier because it's like you do have a soul don't you lawrence and uh, then it's like, well, I got hoodoo, I got voodoo, I got things I ain't even try. And it's just a perfect riff. And I'm like, dude, like, that was just amazing. And then there's Caesar at the background. And I got friends on the other side. Like, it's just so, like, smooth. Just, like, um, <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> uh, jazzy, pardon me. And it's just like... Oh, I just, I am in love with this. Um, and then we kind of get into the breakdown section where it's just like, now you young man from across the sea, you've got two long lines of royalty. And they kind of 
uh, yeah, they kind of broke it down a little bit. So it's like, uh, cause, um, cause I think originally in the movie, like, Facilia is just kind of like, no, you young man are from across the sea. Like, it's kind of more that way, sing songy, I guess. And with, um, with Jay, it was more like, well, no, now you and young man are from across the sea. You got for two real long lines of royalty. Like, kind of like Fresh Prince of Bel Air kind of feel. And uh, that's the way that I would describe it. And uh, it's like, your lifestyle's high, but your fun's all low. You got a merry little honey whose daddy got dope. Mom and dad cut you off, huh, playboy? And then there's Caesar with the cutest, eh, sad but true. And it's just, it's just so awesome because it's just, it, like, it carries along with the story, which I absolutely love. And it's like, it's just like it's playing the scene from the movie, but it's just, there, there's that differences. Uh, like, it's like, um, but freedom takes green. And then after he says freedom takes green, it's like, it's the green, it's the green, it's the green you need. Ooh, and it's like, I love that. That is just such a good little execution right there. Um, and then, uh, like, we get into the other verse where it's like, um, on you, little man don't want to waste much time. You've been pushed around all your life. You've been pushed around by your mother and your sister and your brother. And if you was married, you'd be pushed around by your wife. And Ellie gives the best single eyebrow raise that I have ever seen. And Caesar's laugh towards him is just, it tickles me pink. It's just like, yes. <laughs> but in your future, the you I see is exactly the man you always want to be. And then we get into, like, there's this, like, the, just the ominous ooing at the back. Because it's like, he's about to make the deal. He's trying to convince him to be like, hey, you can trust me. I'm going to give you all of this. And it's like, shake my hand. Come on, boys. Won't you shake a poor sinner's hand? And I love that. Like, just that question in his voice. Like, he just pushed that up to be like, hand? so ellie shakes his hand and then they get to the point of where it's like he's sealed the deal and the transformation is starting and the sound i don't know what lane decided to put on jeff's vocals for this but holy crap i was like the first time i listened to it i was like what in the blazes am i listening to this is like pounding my brain i was not prepared for it but it is just perfect and i'm like oh i could listen to that on repeat multiple times because this is just what so i had to go back and i replayed that part every single time because i was like i'm going to be listening to that on repeat then there's jay with the yes and are you ready and then you know perfect riff right there too like a little bit of a run and a riff there uh just like are you ready like he just goes all the way like just like up and then all the way down but the background vocals is what's doing me because jeff is keeping the beat super steady and you know lane is accompanying him but it's like the doom, boom, doom, boom, doom, boom, doom, and I'm like, oh my god, like, <laughs> like can this get any crazier? But also, there's like a ha ha from Ellie and Caesar, and I'm just like, you guys, like, oh my god, like, like, uh, it's like I don't even have to watch to the end because this is just this is so good right now. Um. So then we get into Transformation Central and the visuals. God damn. I was not expecting the visuals to be as great as they are. Because not only do you get to see Hey Hey from Moana in this one as well, but they also managed to do the whole um Facilier's voodoo skull mask thing. And I'm just like, oh my god, you guys have done your homework with this. And I am just loving it to pieces. And then it's like, um, Transformation Central. And you hear Ellie and, the C and Caesar in the back with Transformation Central. 
and Ellie is going like kind of rock star. It's like, uh, okay, yeah, let me think about it. Transmortification Central. And then Ellie's like, can you feel it? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, Ellie, like, give my brain a rest. And then we get into, um, you're changing, you're changing, you're changing. All right. I hope you're satisfied. But if you ain't, don't blame me. And I, I just find it's funny in the video because, yes, technically they say that they're singing the part, right? When they're recording the video. And you see Jeff take this one, like, inhale. And it's so... If you pay attention to him, because it's like... Because he's, like, holding this ooh for, like, from the start of, like, you're changing to satisfied. And... He just, like, takes a breath because he's, like, he knows what's coming. Like, the end is going to be absolutely nuts. And so we get into this point of, like, but if you wait, don't blame me. And I thought, I initially thought that Jay was going to take it down just to, you know, surprise the hell out of all of us. But didn't happen. He went all the way up. And to his falsetto and I'm like dude if I could run as good as I could right there I I would love to but I cannot uh, again Ellie and Caesar you got what you wanted but you lost what you had and then this part is what gets me like once we're getting into like the very last couple seconds of the video Lane and Jeff are just going bananas like the because like Jeff in the background it's like you have that pause before he goes to, you can thank my friends on the other side. And then it's like the bass line is just like, ding, 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 ding. and it, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's just like, oh my God. Like this is making my heart beat in time with it, I think. But then uh, Lane is doing something with his percussion that it's like, oh goodness. Like this is just what? And then you got, Jeff, I think, uh, I, I can't even remember the notes for the life of me, but he's, he's down there. I wouldn't want to say that it's like C2 territory, but it is low. And, but the, the rising scale that happens between Caesar and Ellie, right as Jeff is saying, I got friends on the other side, like he, like, but it's just like, ooh, ooh, and it's just like, oh my god, that is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. It's so pretty. I went back and I listened to that countless times because I was like, this is just so good. But also listening to Lane, it almost kind of sounds like a train because like his percussion, it like it, it doesn't sound like wheels but it just it has that same kind of style to it and because it's like you know the end is coming it's like we're going on the track chug 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 and then it's like we get to that point of finality conclusion and then we have jay with the head tilt the skull mask purple eyes and the whoosh. and i'm like did i just watch princess and the frog I did, because that was fantastic. I don't even remember where I was when I first watched that video, but I had to watch it again because I was like, I am missing on so many levels of what is going on with this, but it was just character acting, the lighting, the arrangement, costumes, everything. Like, they had Jay... And thank God to Patty Cake for that, because they had managed to have Felicia from uh, the villain's lair. And Tony makes most of the costumes for Patty Cake, and he does an incredible job of every costume. And then just seeing Jay in that costume for Facilier was perfect. And Ellie, handsome. Handsome in a tux. Oh my God. Like, just in a suit in general with a bow tie handsome 
And Caesar, of course. He was handsome. With the little beret and the sweater vest. Like, it was just so adorable. And Caesar didn't know how to tie a tie. So he got Jeff and Lane, his poppies, poppies, to uh, to help him tie a tie. And it's just so cute because they're like fussing over him. Because it's just like, no, no. It's like, no, like you're having it tucked in, but you're not... You don't have it tight enough or no. This this is this is twisted. Like they're just fussing over him. And it's so perfect. It's such a beautiful, beautiful moment. And if you were on Patreon, you would know. Which leads me to the other part of this. You guys have to join Voice Plays patrons to appreciate their work. I know that they would say that, you know, we like a thousand is enough for us, but really it's like, no, you need more. Because their talent is just, it needs more. It needs more uh, appreciation because it just goes unnoticed. And I'm surprised that I managed to do this episode just from memory without looking at the video. Um, Because like when I've been doing these episodes, I've been trying to watch the original video just in case if I miss anything. But I think I was pretty close with all of this. Um, yeah, and probably, like, I'll go back and I'll watch it later and then I'll be like, oh, crap, like, why did I, like, why did I not watch? Because I missed this. But, yes, just go check out Friends on the Other Side. I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Halloween, I suppose. Okay, yeah, let, let me redo that again. Hang on. <clears throat> Happy Halloween, foolish mortals. <laughs> there you go. A little villainous for you. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So, be prepared for that. <laughs> be prepared. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>